Welcome back to another day our survival news and updates. As you guys know, we're all waiting for this new update. Hopefully, it comes soon. So let's get right into it. There's going to be three factions or groups that's going to be in day R. So there's going to be the red, the yellow, and the blue. I want to spend a little bit of the background story of each faction. If you want more details, you can just check out the day R survival Facebook. So the red faction are a bunch of miners, metallurgists, and factory workers. It is Chalayabins, which is the main city center. It is the main workshop of the red faction. Manitagors is the largest labor camps located in the south where there's a bunch of slaves. Swartzlov provides and sends raids. So that's why you notice a sword going down the middle. So maybe you can go there and you can go and ask for work and you can raid perhaps bandits. The red faction has the best industry, best tools and weapons. It provides them to all the other cities, but it has no medicines, no provisions or food. So perhaps you can trade that for some weapons and their form of currency guys is the iron nut i don't know what it looks like but basically people wear them around their necks and you can use that to trade for items inside the red faction so let's move on to the yellow faction the yellow faction has trade oil and railroad it is tufman which is the main oil refining city obviously it makes sense because i always go to tufman to trade at the trader for some gasoline some diesel surgot provides oil for tufman and kurgan is near a train station so perhaps we can use the train station to move around the city and to move to the other faction so uh, we'll see about that. The yellow faction also uses the iron nut as a form of currency. The blue factions are a bunch of scientists, doctors, and engineers. The city of Krasinoyarsk is the main city. It provides and sells food for the entire factions. Novosibirsk is a hospital city. It contains most medicines in all the wasteland and Irkuts, located near a hydroelectric dam. It provides clean water, electricity, fishing, and defense. The blue factions has food, water, medicine, but it needs tools and weapons. Their forms of currency are cards. They are green for medicine, red for food, and blue for water. And for the other European cities, they use black rubles. Trading will be totally different now. It's going to be separated by traders and sellers. So whenever you enter a city and you want to trade something, you go to the trader and the menu is a little bit different and your trading it's going to be dependent on your reputation in that city. The reputation perhaps you built by helping the city, by doing the work for the city, and you level up from level one to level three to five, perhaps. Notice on the bottom right, it's grayed out. So that means your reputation is only two. So in order for you to be able to buy that, you need to level up to level three in order to buy more and different items. And the trader's items can be limited. And if you buy all of it, uh, he can restock every 24 hours. And I want to show you guys something. I want to show you that in the corner right, you notice version 700, right guys? Well, right now we're playing version 69. So you know what that means? It's coming soon. The new updated version. When? Maybe next month, I hope. I really hope. Because we've been waiting 
for more than a year guys let's continue and uh notice how when we buy these things it costs a thousand seven hundred and thirty black rubles but then the total it's lower so that means your reputation has a discount on what you buy in that city for the seller which is the buyer there are certain things that the buyer wants to buy you can't just sell them everything so notice that he he's willing to buy certain items from you and again your reputation makes what you're selling cost more each faction has their own specific armor so you notice the blue faction has something called an egg ran suit which is similar to the combined suit that we used to have that protects us more from radiation but this suit has extremely high radiation resistance it looks pretty cool to me and the red faction has a specific armor called the prospector armor it's similar to the steel armor but better it's better than the steel armor and it's gonna be the most desirable among veteran players so for sure i want that armor another armor that's gonna be coming out is called the reinforced uniform it is an upgrade to the military uniform and in order to make that you need to boil your leather and the other one is the armored uniform it's from the field uniform and you gotta boil your leather to make this one there are also gonna be faction weapons yeah there's gonna be the flamethrower the sapper shovel the abacon and the shashka which is pretty badass i say next is the shotgun we have the saga the toz 34 which can be sawed off and the IZH-18, which can also be sawed off. We're gonna have new spears as well, which pushes the enemy back one tile. So you can use that to push them back to a trap and then they can get hurt more from that. We have the handmade spear, the iron spear, and lastly, the steel spear there's also gonna be three new weapons that we can build ourselves which are the rifle the assault rifle and the machine gun oh that's gonna be cool there's gonna be six new locations in day ours. so what does that mean whenever you go to a city there could be these six things in the city one, the Madman House, which will show up in mid game. The Bandit's Lair, which will show up in mid to late game. The Marauder Camp, which will be in the later game. The Beehive Infested Shop, which has horrible mutant insects, and it'll show up in the beginning of the game. And the Ant Hill. So now you don't have to go to the wasteland and search randomly for these insects now they're gonna have their own little thing inside the city and my favorite new update that's gonna be coming it's gonna be new food recipe guys and things are gonna be different they're all gonna change you can use the corn and salted fish as part of your cooking recipe so that's cool so all prepared meals have a unique effects. It can be positive combat, maximum health, it increases the speed in combat, and the food may also increase search speed. Cooking recipe books will give you a random recipe according to your level. Because before, whenever you find the cooking recipe book and you read it, it just level up your character. But now, it gives you a random recipe so i think that's pretty cool there's gonna be new ingredients added maybe perhaps more but as of right now we're gonna get the egg which can be found in the biome the cheese it's a random events the milk another random event and spices which is gonna be the rare one it's gonna be needed to make complicated recipes all of these ingredients can be found in the survivor base to be traded and sold also guys whenever you search a house whenever you go to the city and you search a house 
there'll be a random event where sometime you'll find a vegetable garden which has potatoes or vegetables for you to gather so it helps in the early to mid game when you don't have a greenhouse so i think that's pretty cool we're gonna be having new dishes as well we're gonna be having the fried eggs the pizza the meatloaf pancakes and my favorite dumplings because i'm asian <laughs> dumplings so chicken kiev cutlet and compote also they're gonna be adding something called a motorboat before we just had the raft but now we get to move faster over water with the motorboat and the last thing that might come out later is a different ui so notice how it's not just a head it's not just a circle anymore it's actually a person walking around so i'm not sure when that's going to come out but that's going to be in the later stages in development of the game so guys these are the new updates hopefully you guys are excited as i am tell me below which one was your favorite which one that you can't wait to have for the new update and uh what faction you guys think you would love more the red the blue or the yellow which one you guys think you'll be in and maybe the cool thing might be is that if you're in a different faction you, we might be able to fight each other <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that's it for me. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. So I'll see you guys next time.